Hi, my name is Tommy Miller. I will be your host this evening on the spookiest podcast on the internet. Today, our guest will be Victor Frankenstein's creature, the Wretch. We will hear and learn about the creature side of the story. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, thank you for having me today. As you may have heard, I am the creature of Victor Frankenstein. Victor is recently on trial for murder, and I wanted to talk on this podcast so more people could hear the correct side of the story. This podcast will give me a chance to speak out to the world. Let's start off with the question everyone has been asking. What was your relationship with Victor Frankenstein like, and how has it progressed? Over these years, my relationship with Victor has not changed or progressed too much at all. As my creator, I tried to get along with him as much as possible, but this could not have happened after what he had done to me. May I ask, what did he exactly do to make you this frustrated about his character? He did several things to get himself here. First of all, he created me out of his aspiration of life and death. He stated at a young age that it was the secrets of heaven and earth that he desired to learn. His desire to create drove him to extreme lengths to create me. When he had me in mind, all he wanted to do was be a creator of a new mankind. He was extremely happy because finally, the creation of the world was now at his grasp. He, however, did not think of the consequences of myself. He did not know what he needed to take care of me, be there for me, and be a father to me. How did this make you feel? I didn't know how to feel. I was abandoned, and I suffered heavily. Here I was, this miserable monster whom Victor had created. I had became a thing such as even Dante cannot even conceive. I was put on this earth to agonize. What could you have possibly done from here? I did the best I could do. From here, as a miserable creature, I decided to flee Geneva. I taught myself the basics of life from reading books and by the observation of humans. At such a young age, anything I experienced would shape who I was. Perhaps if my first introduction to humanity had been made by a young soldier burning for glory and slaughter, I should have been imbued with different sensations. I continued to learn from the increase of knowledge only revealed to me more clearly what a wretch outcast I was. Society and humanity were horrified by my exponents. I had no one there for me in my life. At this point of your life, did you ever find yourself troubled with humanity? Yes, society and humanity were horrified by my existence. I had no one there for me in my life. I tried numerous times to reach out to different human beings, but they all were horrified. I was denied in this world where appearance was more important than reality. Feelings of revenge and hatred filled my bosom. And I did not strive to control them, but allowing myself to be borne away by the stream. I bent my mind towards injury and death. This is exactly what I did. I tried because as much harm to humanity as I could, more importantly to Victor. Nothing was stopping me, whether it was multiple murders or burning down towns out of pure hatred that drove me to these lengths. Now tell me, why do you believe Victor should be punished instead of yourself for these malicious acts that you admit to doing? Victor Frankenstein is responsible for these murders. He was the one who created me and made me such a miserable wretch. He was the one that abandoned me at birth. He left me to suffer in the real world. He had multiple chances to help me and oppose the idea of help. All I needed was for someone to lead me the way, and no one did. I had to lead myself. That is why I'm here defending myself. That is why I want people to hear the right side of the story. That is why Victor Frankenstein is guilty. Ending it off here on quite a strong note, that will be it for tonight. I want to thank the creature for being on here, and hopefully you guys will be here next week. I am your host, Tommy Miller, this evening for the spookiest podcast on the internet. And I want each and every one of you to have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.